Namaste and welcome back to the HTML class. My dear friend, we have learnt a lot about lists and how beautifully a list can allow you to structure the information in your website and not only that, if lists combined with hyperlinks can make browsing of the web possible. This is what we had learnt. But today I would like to modify the program we previously wrote a little bit and show you another very interesting thing you can do with lists. What do I mean to say is, if you recollect, this is that directory structure of the program we had previously, right? So inside web development folder, we had a file called as index.html. Further inside web development, we had a folder called as frontend. Inside that, we had separate HTML files. Inside backend folder, we had separate HTML files. Inside backend folder, we had another subfolder called as frameworks, inside which had the its own uh, HTML files. We also had inside the web development folder, another folder called as database, inside which we had its own HTML files. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take the code present in all these other HTML files and add everything into index.html. And if you do that, obviously these logo files which are there in different folders, those also should be inside the same folder. Those logo files also I'm going to be putting it inside the web development folder directly, which means this front end, back end, database, frameworks, none of these folders I require, I'll remove it. Now you must understand, inside C drive, there is one folder called as web development, inside that a single file called as index.html and all of the associated or necessary image files present inside the same folder. Would you agree with me? Now what would the code look like? Let me show you. If in case I just enable my editor, this is the code I'm speaking about. If you look at it, this is where you had created all that list, right? All these are hyperlinks, please come down till database you can see. But now what I've done is, that htm.html, that also I have put it inside the same file, even that uh, cascading style sheets also I put inside the same file, JavaScript, Bootstrap, Python, Java, JavaScript, Django, everything, basically all the contents I put it inside a same file. Now I want you guys to understand something. If I scroll completely on top, then you can understand this if you think. Look at these anchor tags, right? HTML, the CSS, Java, JavaScript, all these were hyperlinks. If you click on this, it was supposed to go into front-end folder htm.html. But now I'm asking you, there is no front-end folder, there is no htm.html, because all of this code is inside one file now. Which means these href attributes, whatever you have given inside them makes no sense. So I'll remove all of them. I'll just remove only what is inside the codes. I'll remove it. Everything I'll remove. As you guys can see, I have removed all the href attributes. Whatever was inside that, I've removed. Because I want you to understand, scroll down, all the code is inside the same file. But you are saying go to some other folder, some other file. That should not happen, right? Let us go and execute this code and see what it looks like. If in case I go there and if in case I refresh this, then you can notice this is how it looks like. These are those lists. If in case I scroll down, you can notice right here HTML code, CSS, JavaScript, Bootstrap, Python, Java, JavaScript, Django, Node.js, Spring, SQL, MongoDB. Everything is inside one file. It's a big HTML file. Lot of scrolling is required. See how much of scrolling is required. Now, I want you to think in the perspective of the user. Now, you are using this web you see that HTML is a blue color underlined text, which means anyone who has used the web sufficiently, even if he doesn't know HTML, by practice, he knows that if he clicks here, something will happen. If in case I click on HTML, click there, nothing happens. Why? Because if I go back to my code, please go back to the code, you can notice in the code, have you told what should happen if HTML is clicked, where should it go? You have not told right? But what I would expect to happen is, watch and understand carefully. If I go back to my output window, then in the browser, if in case somebody clicks on HTML, automatically in the same page, it should scroll down and come here. It should come here. In fact, it should not reach the entire thing. Only this heading part, it should reach. I hope I'm clear. Similarly, if I scroll on top, if somebody clicks on CSS, automatically it should come to the CSS section like this. It should come here. Did you notice? Similarly, scroll on top. 
if somebody clicks on MongoDB, then automatically, it should automatically go all the way down to wherever MongoDB is there. Here it should come. How are we going to do this is the bigger question. If you are curious to know how, let me show you. My friend, please understand that if in case I go back to my editor, right? Now I want you to observe it, right? See, if whatever I showed you must happen, then if somebody clicks on HTML, then inside this href, you should mention something in such a way that automatically from here, if I scroll down, it should go to that tag where that heading is there. So scroll down. It should come here, hypertext markup language. That is what I wanted. Similarly, if I scroll on top, if in case somebody clicks on CSS, then it should go to that part where the heading of CSS is there, which is this H1 tag, cascading style sheets, I have told. Any confusion? Similarly, if I scroll on top, if somebody clicks on, let us assume, uh, come down to database, if somebody clicks on MongoDB, then automatically it should from this tag go to the H1 tag of MongoDB like this. Right? So, how can we bring the control from one tag to another tag? That is the question here. How are we going to do that? Well, if that is what you want to do, let me give you an example, my friend. Let us assume like this. There are 10 buildings in an IT park. 10 buildings are there. Different buildings belong to different companies like this, right? Now, what I want you to understand is that is you. Let us assume you want to go to Google's building. Now, how will you go to Google's building from wherever you are? Only if you know the address of the building you will go, isn't it? If I tell you, hey, go to Google's building and if I tell you what is the address of Google's building, then from there you will reach Google's building. Any confusion till there? Similarly, let me take you back to the starting position. Assume all these buildings were tags like this. All of these were tags, right? Now, you want the control to go to one of these tags. If you wanted to go to one of these tags, you must tell which tag. And how will you tell which tag if you ask me? It is by giving an address to the tag. What if I called this tag as HTML, this tag as CSS, this tag as maybe Java, this tag as JavaScript. Now that if I give different tags, different names or addresses like this, then based on the address, I can go to that tag. Any confusion till there? Can we give a tag a address, Rohit, if you ask me? Definitely you can. How if you ask me? For that, you must use an attribute called as the ID attribute. How to use this? Let me show you. If I bring back my code to you, what I want you to understand is simple. First, if I scroll down, let me go to the H1 tag of HTML. This is hypertext markup language. Now, if somebody clicks on HTML, I want control to come here, isn't it? So what I will do is I'll give an address to this tag. I'll go inside this opening tag because attributes are always given inside the opening tag. I will tell ID like this. The moment I do that, as you can see, it is expecting an ID or an address. What will you give us the address inside that? I'll call it as HTML in small letters. That's it. That's the address. Now look at the magic. If I scroll on top, what I will tell is, hey, if somebody clicks on HTML, then the href should take it to that address, should take it to a tag with that address. How will you do that? If you ask me simple, inside href, not only can you give the URL or the file path, you can also give the address of the tag you wanted to take it to. Of course, the address should be of a tag which is present inside the same file. It cannot be inside some other file. So see what I will do is, I will put hash. That is how you tell href that it is an address. And what is the name of the address that we gave? HTML. I will tell HTML. Right? Similarly, I will scroll down. CSS H2, H1 tag I will go to. This is CSS H1 tag. There I want to give an address. So inside that I will tell id equal to and I will call it as CSS. I will just call it as CSS like this. Next I will scroll on top and then now this is the CSS hyperlink. Here I will tell if somebody clicks on CSS in the same file take it to a tag whose address is. Address means hash. 
and what is the name CSS that was the address you gave it can be a name it can be a number you can give whatever you want I have given it as a name so that it's easier to read easier to understand any confusion till this point of time let us see if this much will work if in case I go back now to my output window and if I refresh it you can notice if I click on HTML watch it I'm here scroll back on top if in case I click on CSS automatically I'm here beautiful isn't it don't you think it is helping me navigate my long web page a web page could be multiple lines of code could be multiple tags working together if without such a feature you make a user to experience or use your web page then scrolling scrolling he might die death by scroll may happen you understand what I'm trying to say nobody would want to use your website similarly I want you to try for all other hyperlinks scroll on top I am going to now give for MongoDB such that if I click on MongoDB it should go to the end of the page how are we going to do this simple if I go back to my editor there first of all I will go to that h1 tag of MongoDB watch it all right this is the h1 tag of MongoDB I'll give it an address how to give it an address ID attribute there I will call it as uh, uh, maybe MongoDB itself like this right now I'll go on top and what I'm going to do is I will go to the hyperlink of MongoDB which is this and there in href I will tell please if somebody clicks go to the address address means hash which address MongoDB as simple as that like this for any tag you can give an address and you can make a hyperlink take you to that tag any confusion till here if I go back to my browser window and if I refresh this as you can notice I'll increase the size a little bit so that you guys can see it even more I will increase it if I click on MongoDB then there you go it came to the h1 tag of MongoDB now this is a beautiful thing and in fact ID attribute is going to be playing a key role when we explore CSS which just in couple more concepts we will start and you will be able to make this black and white looking websites into something very very pleasing to the eye anyways I hope lists and hyperlinks and the ID attribute together how they will be able to help you you have been able to get a good idea about it however there is one more small thing about a hyperlink which I have to tell you what is that stay tuned now it's time for me to show you something a little unique about a hyperlink which you must know and which will be very handy for you see what I will do is I'm going to create an anchor tag like this and inside the anchor tag as text I will just put click here I will put click here I will tell. any confusion or click here to know about tap Academy I will tell to know about tap Academy great any confusion now this is a hyperlink if somebody clicks here where it should go this is the website URL where it should go right any confusion till here now I want you to understand if I go to my browser window and I execute this piece of code then watch it like this you must understand if I refresh this is the thing I will increase the size so that it is visible any confusion till this point of time now I want you to understand if I click definitely it will open but it will open in the same tab watch it go back if I click the website is opening in the same tab but sometimes the website design will expect you to have the design in such a way that if you click it should open in a different tab now how are we going to do this simple if I go back to my code you must understand these are called as tags right opening tag closing tag now inside a tag you can give additional information to the tag the additional information that you give to a tag is only called as a tag attribute and the tag attribute syntax is always like this name assignment operator value and value will always be within double quotes any confusion till this point of time as you can see for the anchor tag you gave an attribute called as href which is information to the anchor tag that if somebody clicks where you should take it 
and all attributes are optional. It's not that you have to give. It is additional information. Based on that information, the tag will act the way it is supposed to, right? Now I'm telling you, let's add one more attribute. Yes, one tag can have multiple attributes. Now this attribute should tell anchor tag that if you click, the link should be opened in a new tab. Now how are we going to do this? Watch it. I will come outside this quotes, leave a space and there I am going to put another attribute called as target attribute like this equal to and quotes. Inside quotes, if you want this website to open in a new tab, you must tell underscore, underscore blank like this. Remember this, underscore blank. This is the syntax. If you tell, now the nature will change or really you might ask. If in case I go back to my browser window and I refresh it, then you can notice if I click on tab academy new tab open C. Show the previous tab. That is another tab. This is a separate tab. Any confusion till this point of time? So I hope you have been able to understand. Any confusion till this point of time? So everything about hyperlinks you know. So make sure you are going, practicing, use your creativity. After all, a website is a canvas for you to express your creativity. You can make it do, look, feel however you want. I hope I am clear till here. But of course, a very important tool is still missing in your life which is CSS, which definitely I will teach you. But I hope till here whatever HTML has been taught is crystal clear to you. Go ahead and ask all your doubts and questions in the forum provided. We will be very, very happy to answer them.